lot of people talk about free food and how it's possible to go out and pick your own food in nature and just go forage and that way you are getting all your food for free while not spending money uh, and they sort of romanticize this idea of picking your own food and of course while I do enjoy picking my own food of course who doesn't uh, I also enjoy just making money and then spending the money to buy the food and it seems a lot of people are sort of misunderstanding this concept of free food because the truth is there is no such thing as free food nothing is free everything is an exchange of energy so just like we know energy cannot be created or destroyed but it can be transferred from one form to another so essentially whether we work to make money and then take that money to buy our food or whether we go out and pick our own food or grow our own food we're still always investing energy into the process so it always costs something nothing is truly free in that sense and um, when we get gifted something or if if we're just walking along the street and then suddenly we just find a mango tree and we just like bam mangoes for no effort then of course someone else invested effort into it and ultimately there's always a cost to the system as a whole uh, I guess my point of this video is that rather than looking at food as free uh, if you pick it yourself and shunning the use of money it's much better to look at it as doing what is the path of least resistance because that's what that's what our, our biological design is is you know to seek out pleasure avoid pain and conserve energy those three things it doesn't make any sense to prioritize one way of getting that food over another if the other is easier in my opinion so you know you might go out and forage for three hours and come home with like 40 kilos of mangoes or you might work for a few hours and buy 40 kilos of mangoes and in the end whatever makes the most economical sense is I think what we should do so sometimes going out and foraging is really easier maybe we don't have a means of making the money maybe we don't have a job or whatever in that case it's probably better for us to channel our energy into getting food ourselves and go foraging uh, or on the long-term basis growing it ourselves but on the other hand uh, if we have somewhere to channel our energy and get money at, as a result as a, like a job or maybe an online business or somehow making money it might be possible that it's going to be more economical for you to actually pursue making money and spending that money on fruit rather than just romanticizing the idea of foraging as free food uh, I guess my point is just we don't want to close our minds and just be like money is bad money is just a exchange currency it's just a it's just it has no value in itself but it proves that we have invested energy in something and gotten the money as in, in return and now we can spend that money you know we all know how money works but the point is there's no reason to be against money and when you pick fruit it's not free you were picking it you put the effort in to pick it you went out to get it uh, you brought it home uh, eventually and eventually ultimately you also peel it and you chew it and you digest it there's always a cost involved in everything we do so follow the path of least resistance that is always the best option if you want to conserve your vital reserves so by all means you know go out and forage of course go out it's really exciting it's an adventure go out and pick your own fruit obviously don't steal fruit from someone else's garden you want to ask them first but there's a lot of wild food even that you can forage as a fruit eating maniac there's a lot of fruit out there uh, so go out and explore and have fun with it but do remember that you know there's no need to sort of glorify uh, wild food or uh, you know the food you pick yourself just because oh, it's free it's not free it sort of annoys me that a lot of people they tend to get into this idea right that food is free and we can just pick it and so much better than buying food at the market but you know everything has a cost and when you're buying it at the market someone grew it 
someone cultivated it, someone picked it, someone transported it to the market, someone sells it there at the market, and of course it only makes sense that you pay them to do so. Either you pay them to do so, or you go and do the job yourself. In the end, each situation is different and you gotta choose whichever situation works best for you in that moment, whatever is the path of least resistance. Personally, I, I really like going to the market. I don't see anything wrong with spending money on fruit rather than going out picking fruit. I have some friends that are really into foraging and picking fruit themselves and they dig it and they love it. That's cool. Personally, I, I, I sort of have other things that I focus more on than picking fruit and then I'll just, I'd rather just make money and then go to the market. That's just my preference. I just feel like that's, that's the best way for me to channel my energy into something constructive and then of course getting my food. So everyone's different I guess and you, you just have to find your own way. Remember though, path of, path of least resistance, that's the way to go always. Uh, unless you want to go the path of most resistance just because it's fun. That could also be an option. Everything depends on you. Alright, thanks for watching. See you around.